Hey friends, you made it. It's the final session of Connect. So glad you've been going on this journey with us as we uh, learned a little bit about each other, hopefully. Uh, you through a form telling us a little bit about yourself, us through talking a little bit on these videos about who we are and what we're passionate about. Hopefully we've gotten to know each other a little bit better. Uh, you've learned a little bit about our foundations and our values, who we are as a kingdom of God, Holy Spirit filled people who are continuing Jesus' ministry with a commitment to excellence, cultivating hope, creating a culture of invitation, carrying the gospel, all the things that, that make us uniquely who we are. Not better than any church, but unique. You've learned a little bit about how we're engaging our cities right now. What is our goal and how are the forms and the ways in which we're engaging our cities through our mission and vision talk last week. And this is session four. I want to tell you, we all got the same things. Did you know that? Uh, we all have the same three things. In fact, they all start with a T. That must be an alliterative thing in this Connect class. We have three things. We have time, we have talent, and we have treasure. All of us do. We all have those same three things. We all have 24 hours in the day to sleep, to eat, to work, to spend time with our family, and to give sometimes to a mission and a vision that we believe in very strongly. We all have the same 24 hours in a day to commit to serving Jesus with everything we have. We decide this is the family that makes sense to us. We all have talent. You may not have ever heard that, but you have talent. God has gifted each and every person with unique talent in this life and in this world. I don't know how in the world to play a bass guitar, but there are people that do. It's a talent God's given them. There are all kinds of people that have the talent to sing. There are people that have a talent for two-year-olds that I don't have, even though I've had five different two-year-olds. I'm not sure I have a talent for two-year-olds. There are people that have a talent for cooking that's just amazing, right? Everybody's got talent. Everybody's got the same 24 hours a day. God has gifted every single person on this planet with unique talents that are make them who they are. And the last but certainly not least, we all have treasure. We all have finances. Some people make $100 a week. Some people make $100 an hour. I realize that everybody's treasure might look a little bit different, but we all have a little bit that we have. Now, what's so important about those three T's is when you commit to a family, when you join up with a church and say yes to a place, we all have to decide how do we want to engage that place. Remember, our goal as a church is to engage our cities with the love and the good news, what Jesus Christ has done for us and what he's doing through us and in us. But when we join a family and say, this is the place I'm going to get connected to, that's what this is, it's a connect class, right? When we all when we decide this is the place I'm going to get connected to, we have to decide how and when we're going to use those three things. How am I going to use my time, my talents, and my treasure? How am I going to use my time, my talents, and my treasure? If you have a teaching gift, maybe you have a great teacher with our kingdom kids. Or maybe you'd be a great teacher in your small group. If you have a hospitality gift, maybe you'd be a great place to host a group in your home or in your city. If you are, have the ability to smile, you can open a door and shake people's hands as they come into church on Sundays. Maybe you have a great gift for social media and you'd love to be a part of our teams that do all of our, our online stuff through Instagram and Facebook and our online church. We all have time and talents to do those things. And we just have to decide how we want to spend it. How do we want to spend those time and those talents? How do we want to spend the treasure that we have? Now, we are not a church that comes and looks at your bank account and says, you have to give exactly this much to the church. We don't, we don't, we don't function that way. But we do believe what Jesus said, which is where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Not where your heart is, there your treasure goes, but where your treasure goes, there your heart goes. Have you ever noticed that? When you buy a house, you really care a lot about that house more than your neighbor's house. <laughs> When you buy a car, you care a whole lot about that car than your neighbor's car, right? Where your treasure is, there your heart goes. And the same is true in the church. Uh, when we put our finances, our, our, our treasure into the church, um, we just really, our heart begins to go there a lot more. We begin to care a whole lot more about what's happening in this community. We would never require that of anybody, but we do say that's part of what you have to offer back into the community. You have hours in the day. Maybe it's an hour or two on Sunday. Maybe it's an hour or two on a Thursday night that you could give to. You all have talents that you can give to the church. You might not feel like it's much, but I guarantee you that we can help you find a place. There is always a place for somebody to jump in with their talent. You know, one time I met a, a woman at my, my former church 
who was really great at surveys and stats and, and data stuff. You know, that seems like a, a talent. Like, how do I use that in the church? But she was passionate about it. So every year, she used those talents for our all-church survey. We did an all-church survey at that church to find out who was in a group, who wasn't in a group, what city they were from, how they're connected. It was kind of like, you know, like a survey monkey, giant survey monkey for the entire church. This is a big church. And she used that talent every year to do all the results of the all-church survey. So I think if you've got something like that, even if it seems obscure, you can find a use for it in the church if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of your time to use that talent. And then we all have a little bit of treasure. As a leader in the church, I'll say that the leaders go first. And so the leaders in our church, the staff and the, the, the leadership team of our church, we have committed to tithing, which is 10% of your income. If you don't know what that means, it's like if I get $100, I give 10. If I get $1,000, I give 100. Um, we've committed as a leadership team to tithing to 10% of our, our income. And we believe that that's a biblical principle. Um, but we always say start somewhere. If you've never given anything before, try giving $10 a week. Man, if you do that, by the end of the year, you'll give $500 to the mission and the vision. And somebody's life might get transformed because of your gift. Because we're able to keep uh, you know, a program going or do a certain outreach or hire a certain staff member. You'd be amazed at what $10 a week could do. So you've never given, I say just start. Just try and start giving $10 a week. If you've given before and you've never tithed before, that's that 10%, try tithing. See what happens. I can tell you this, in my life, that when I tithe, I feel like there's financial blessing on the rest of my money like I've never experienced before. And if you're already tithing, that's amazing. We're so grateful for you. Your generosity is definitely changing lives as we engage our cities. And I gotta tell you that for you, it might just be a, a strange, generous gift. Like I know one of the things that my wife and I committed to in this year was starting to put $50 away every month towards a church planner. We were already tithing. We are already giving towards friends of ours who are missionaries, but we started giving away $50 a month to a church planner. I get to see what they do when they plant their first church. How can a life get transformed in another city? And we believe in that. We believe in being generous because God has been so generous to us. If you ever have any questions about things like that, how to give, ways to give, or just why, Maybe some scriptures that will help you out with that. We always say, you know, call us, email us, text us. But we all have the same three things, friends. We have that, our time. Uh, what are we willing to give up? Our talent. How are we willing to use it? And our treasure. Do we want to be generous to the mission and vision of what God is doing here? And that's what makes a family a family. It's not relying on one person or one family to do all of those things. It's all of us together together in partnership with Holy Spirit to bring the kingdom of God to our cities, to bring the love of God to our cities, to bring the good news of the gospel to our cities. I hope you enjoyed these four sessions together. I hope they've made sense. I hope you feel better connected to who we are. There's gonna be one last form for you to fill out. There was a form about getting connected and hearing your story and kind of who you were. There was a form talking about values as a family. There was a forum talking about, you know, the mission, the vision, and what that, that means to you, or maybe a part of it that sparks some interest to you. This last forum is an important one because it's how you want to use your time, your talents, and your treasure to engage in this local community. How do you want to use your time, your talents, and your treasure to engage in this local community? You know, do you want to be in a group? Do you want to start giving? Do you want to get connected to another group of people? Do you want to serve some way? Do you have questions that you want to meet with one of our, our staff team and ask them questions? Make them take you out to Starbucks or to Fusion Brew and get a coffee on us. How do you want to get connected? What are the questions that you have? The last thing you'll see on the forum is a, is a question that's probably the most important question you're ever going to be asked. Is Are you ready for the miracle of God transforming your life? of life change. Are you ready to give your life to him? If you've never done that, you can do that today. If you've never been baptized, we would love at our next baptism service to baptize you in water as you die to your old life and you get raised to new life. Paul calls that in Romans 6, being united with Jesus in his death, his burial, and his resurrection. You become a part of the gospel story. What a beautiful idea and a beautiful picture for us. We'd love for you to get connected to this church. We'd love for you to get connected to faith.
We'd love for you to connect it to other people in our cities and do life with them. But friends, if you've watched all four of these and you filled out all the forms and we're still not the church for you, I gotta tell you, don't give up on Jesus. Don't give up on Jesus' church. And if you're looking for a different place than us and maybe we're just not quite exactly the community that you're looking for, still connect with us through a simple email or phone call or even at the bottom of the forum and say, man, can you help me find a church that meets my needs? Can you help me find a church that makes more sense to me than what you guys are doing? Because we believe that the church, man, none of us is better than anybody else. We're all just a little unique families. And we'd love for you not to give up on what God wants to do through you. I'm so grateful that you went on this journey with me, with our team. We hope to hear from you soon. In fact, do me a favor. If you watched all four of these, fill out the forms, all those kind of good stuff, even though we're going to get emails and things like that, and, and some of our volunteer team is, or maybe some of our staff is going to follow up on all those things, I may not know that you finished this. So if you finish all four of these videos, do me a favor. Come up to me on Sunday, shake my hand, give me a hug, give me a high five, and say, man, I enjoyed that Connect class. Thank you for doing it. Appreciate you, everybody. Let me pray, and we'll wrap up this last session of Connect. Father, in Jesus' name, thanks for every man, woman, teenager, child, every family who went on this journey with us over the last couple of weeks. I pray that these four sessions help them get connected better to the Vineyard Church of Bloomington Normal. And I hope with all that I am, God, with all that I am, God, that they get connected to your church and get connected to the mission of changing lives, connected to the mission of engaging our cities, connected to the mission of continuing your ministry, God. I pray that everybody would say yes to you in a new way today, God. And I pray if there's anybody out there who hasn't said yes to you for the first time, they do it today. If there's anybody that never said yes to you in baptism, they do it today, God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Before I go, you made it all the way to the end. If you made it all the way to the end and you come talk to me or you email the church because you don't, you're you not gonna be here the Sunday after you finish, you get a free t-shirt. We wanna give you a free gift for finishing this class. Thank you so much, everybody. And we'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.